My name is uh, Deadhead Ed. I've lived in Crested Butte for 22 years now, and I just love this place. I think Crested Butte just has this feel of like a, it's a really core, kind of down-to-earth ski town. You got a lot of people here who just work hard and play hard, and they're here for the mountains and for the skiing. I think it really comes through in like the town life and, and the atmosphere everywhere you go here. One thing I love about a good day of skiing is showing up at the avalanche afterwards. Just a classic ski bar. Yeah, I pray up on the mountain. The Abbey is pretty classic, definitely a local's favorite. Abbey warning, packs a good punch. Yeah, downtown, you know, good assortment of, you know, eateries, places to drink. Temperature's always right for drinking in Crested Butte. All of Crested Butte's good terrain faces north, so we get used to skiing chalk, and it's pretty fantastic if you know how to hold an edge. And then when we get three inches, it goes off. Yeah, Crested Butte was, was the first ski area in the country to open extreme terrain for inbound skiing. I started on the ski patrol in 1982 up here. The North Facelift went in in 1986, I believe. That also gave us the opportunity to open terrain beyond the North Face, which was Spellbound Phoenix. You know, Crest Butte is steep everywhere. We have so many 40 degree slopes littered with rocks, chutes, trees. Falling is not an option. You know, a friend of mine from old Warren Miller ski movies, Scott Kennett, used to say, edging skills are hospital bills, and this place is that. Phoenix shoots, even on the worst days, hold steep north-facing chalk and uh, just rippable terrain. And pillows up in high nowhere are sick good opportunities to send it or bop down some really playful pillow lines. And the third bowl really holds a treat because you have to hike out, you get less tracked terrain. And then a little later, we got the high lift, which services the head wall. We were able to open the banana and funnel. And that was a big deal. They are in your face unbelievably cool couloirs to ski. I mean, there's no other ski area in the state of Colorado or in a lot of states that have in-your-face skiing right off the parking lot like that. This is a really good place to be a backcountry skier. We're surrounded here, we're at the end of the road. There's only one way in, one way out in the winter. We have some three million acres of public land. A lot of it is best accessed by a snowmobile. We're eager to share this place with people. And we, you know, you have to sit down on the chair with somebody who's gonna show you the stashes. They're gonna be stoked you're here. I don't know, when you come on vacation in the mountains, this is what you're looking for. You're looking for a community that lives and breathes mountain lifestyle, and I think that's something that Crest TV really has.